My name's Carol. Welcome to Hummingbird Spot. This is the third in the series of Honduras videos uh, in my quest to photograph every hummingbird species. If you haven't seen previous episodes, click here. We were in the Lake Yohoa district of Honduras and um, one of the birds that is in this area is the most important bird to find in Honduras, and that's the Honduran emerald. It's the only true endemic hummingbird to Honduras. In fact, there are very few countries in Central America that have true endemic hummingbirds, and this is one of them. It's endangered because 90% of its habitat has been lost to agriculture. So again, this was a very, very important bird to find. So we picked up Alex Matute in the morning and uh, he's a birder and he also happens to own El Rancho Restaurant and Hotel, which is a very popular restaurant, hotel and club in, um, in this area. So Alex took us to a place where he knows we had a good chance of finding this bird. And sure enough, Alex found us the Honduran Emerald. is named after its beautiful glittering emerald green throat and chest. We were lucky enough to see a couple of them, so I was able to get some pictures. Even one decided to stretch for me, so I, I got a picture of him with his tail fanned. We spent the morning filming the Honduran emerald, and then we went back to El Rancho for lunch. After lunch, we went up to Alex's balcony because he has some hummingbird feeders back there that attracts the Baraline hummingbird. The Baraline hummingbird is brilliant green with a like rust colored brownish tail. This bird does come to the United States occasionally to the extreme southern portion of the United States. I think it's been spotted recently in Southeast Arizona, but you know, it's pretty rare to see it there. I was very happy to see the Baraline in Honduras. Before we left Alex, he gave me a gift of dried hibiscus flowers, because that's what used to make Jamaica which became my favorite drink in Honduras. In fact, I am so addicted to this stuff. I drink it practically every day. I found out where I can buy the hibiscus flowers here in the U.S. A lot of you are probably familiar with these hibiscus flowers from drinking red zinger tea. I've learned that that's what made that tea red. Then we left and we were off for the long drive to the Pico Benito Lodge. Wow! I've read about this place long before I decided to go to Honduras because it's been mentioned in National Geographic Explorer and it was also recommended by Condé Nast Traveler magazine. It is a world-class resort at the edge of Pico Benito National Park. This park is more than 200 square miles, ranging from sea level all the way up to like 7,500 feet. The biodiversity is unbelievable. There's like 270 species of birds, all kinds of animals, streams, waterfalls, hiking trails. You could go mountain biking, you know, whitewater rafting. There's like tons to do there. But the thing I wanted to do was photograph hummingbirds. The grounds of the lodge itself are gorgeous. There are walkways that go through lush gardens that attract all kinds of birds, not just the hummingbirds. And the restaurant has a large outdoor deck. So you could sit there and see the hummingbird feeders while you're dining. Jenny and I couldn't even eat breakfast without our cameras there taking pictures. I'm at the fabulous Lodge at Pico Benito in Honduras. This country is amazing. It's beautiful. The people are wonderful. And you should come here, especially if you like hummingbirds. I, th this place is beautiful. There are 
long pathways winding through the rainforest, beautiful flowers, heliconia, all kinds of things with lots of nectar that the hummingbirds are drinking all morning. I've been here photographing, I think about six different species of hummingbirds. They have lots of feeders here. They come to the feeders, but even better pictures are the pictures I'm getting with them feeding at the plants. It's This is a beautiful place. And um, I think you should all come down and look at these hummingbirds. The lodge is amazing. They have great accommodations. I'm here with Beaks and Peaks on their 2018 Hummingbird Quest photography tour. And William Oriana, our guide, is an amazing guide. If you come to Honduras, hire him because he's great. He has eyes like a praying mantis, I swear. He sees the slightest movement in a tree and goes, oh, hummingbird, and I'm going, what tree? <laughs> So it's, this has been an amazing experience. Here was the first time I ever got to see a white-necked Jacobin. Now these birds are really common all throughout Central and South America, but this is the first time I ever had gotten to see one. I had seen them online all the time. Brilliant blue and green, a white chest, a beautiful white tail, and it's named after a little patch of white uh, that goes across the back of its neck. Other birds that I got to see there were the crowned wood nymph, the long-billed hermit. It was fortunate that these birds come to the feeders there, because usually you find hermits briefly zipping around heliconia flowers and then disappearing for long periods of time. Uh, they usually perch in really hidden places, so you're lucky to get a shot of them standing still. I felt I was lucky getting the shots of this bird that I did. Now everyone loves the crowned wood nymph. And this is where I got to see my first one. They are so beautiful because they have rich emerald throats offsetting the bright blue belly and purple crown. The female's rather plain, but she's cute also. A striped-tailed hummingbird was flitting around the front of the property. He didn't come to the feeders, but I staked out these flowers in the front of the hotel for a couple of hours and got some beautiful shots of the striped-tailed. This is also the first time I ever saw the brown violet ears. Again, just like the Mexican violet ear, they have these little patch of feathers that when they're mad, they stick out and they look like ears. Now the brown violet ear, I got pictures of him with his tongue sticking out and other pictures of him scratching with his foot up. And I discovered I really like taking pictures like that. So in the future, I would always try to get birds scratching and sticking out their tongues. Now be sure you subscribe and hit that bell because next Sunday we're going to the island of Wanaha off the northern Caribbean coast of Honduras and then back to Lake Yohoa and the day I was ready to go home, a special treat, a hummingbird nest.